doing? I hope you are really well and thank you so much for joining me for today's vlog. If you are new around here, hello, I am Laura and if you are coming back, then welcome back and thank you so much for joining me again. I'm just putting on a bit of makeup for the day. I hope you have all had a really nice week. I've kept feeling like spring is on the horizon and then each morning this week it's been very frosty and then I think, oh no, spring isn't on the horizon, but it kind of is, do you know what I mean? Really looking forward to spring. Every time I look out in the garden, it just looks like such a mess out there. So I'm looking forward to some warmer days to have a good old tidy up in the garden. This vlog is actually all home based, like lots of home things going on. Over the last couple of weeks, I've been filming this vlog in bits really, to be honest, because I've been doing lots of updates around the house, little DIY projects, like just updating areas of the house. Um, and I've been filming all of that. So I've put it all into um, one video. Does my voice sound weird? It feels, it sounds like it's going. It doesn't hurt, it just sounds weird. This is how quick time just flies by. I thought that we had been in our house for like three years and then when I was like thinking about this vlog, it's actually nearly three, well it's three and a half years now. We moved in September 2019, three and a half years. That has just gone so quickly. We did the majority of like the renovations, redecorating and things when we first moved in. And now I've just, and after now three and a half years, I just wanted to like refresh a few areas and um, just update a few bits. Um, I love being at home, like being at home is my favorite place to be. And this is like where I spend like all of my time. And I feel that like a home really reflects how you feel. Like when the house isn't clean and it's messy, it makes me feel like that. But when everything's tidy and clean and I like what I'm looking at, it makes me feel happier. I've been so excited to do these little updates and I've been getting my DIY on. Um, I've done a few little projects I'm really happy with, which you will see all in this video. By the way, if you're looking for a new mascara, this L'Oreal one, it's the Pro XXL Lift. It's like a double blender. Um, this is so, so good. I feel it's just coming to the end stage when it starts to get a bit drier, um, but I will definitely be repurchasing. This is so good. Speaking of being at home, if you are a regular viewer here or you follow me over on Instagram, you'll know that I absolutely love watching TV. I know it's really boring to some people, but for me, I feel happy and cozy and safe at home on my sofa watching TV. I like the downtime and watching a film or TV, I do switch off and I love it. And so excitingly, so excitingly, I am part of Sky Cinema's movie club. I'm watching Sky all the time anyway, um, but over the next couple of months, I will be sharing their newest releases and what I think of them. And this month, me and Tom watched The Independent, which is a political thriller, which is available on the 24th of February on Sky Cinema. Actually, we've been able to watch it early, obviously, so I can tell you all about it. Um, and you know what? It was so good, so there'll be no spoilers, don't worry. So it's got a few big names in. There's John Cena, Brian Cox, Jodie Turner-Smith, and Brian Cox and Jodie Turner-Smith work at a huge Washington newspaper, and Jodie Turner-Smith, who plays a character called Eli, is um, like a younger member of the team, and Brian Cox, who also works at the Washington newspaper, his character's name is Michael Booker. He's an older gentleman, he's worked there for a really long time, he's very well established, people know his name. He's this huge columnist that millions of people read his column, so he's very like well high up. Anyway, it comes about that they end up teaming up on this investigation and it's they start investigating a story about about a school that's lost the funding but alongside this story there's a president election happening and Eli's character her partner works for the guy John Cena who's running for president so we've got these like two stories happening at the same time and kind of there's some information sharing whilst they are looking into this case at the Washington Post um, they start uncovering things about the election that is happening and what they're uncovering is going to have a huge impact on the election and sometimes in films you think it's going to end like that but honestly I had no idea and the storyline as well it wasn't that far-fetched you know also sometimes when you watch a film and think 
that would never happen. That is like absolutely ridiculous. That would never happen. This is kind of realistic. Like this definitely could happen. Um, so yeah, it's watching these two storylines play out. How is it going to affect the election? And yeah, it's a very good political thriller. And don't be put off that it's a political thriller because it doesn't go into like politics depth so that's one of sky cinema's new films that's coming out later this month i got so excited to tell you about the film that i've stopped doing my makeup sky cinema puts so many new films out all the time but there's another new film out this month um that i might save for the weekend and that's called rock dog 3 and that one is about young performers um trying to set up a rock band and the journey that they go on with that i'll leave all of the sky cinema details links and everything down below hope i haven't bored you to death already um i'm going to finish my makeup and then I will update you on the house bits after. Say hello to everyone. Hi. Somebody turned three. Haven't you? You've recently turned three. Because do they say that dogs years are like seven? Oh, seven. Is it seven years for every? No. It's like seven times their age, isn't it? So Bertie was three. He actually just had his he actually just had his twenty-first birthday. <laughs> and we didn't have a party, but you had plenty of treats, a nice long walk, and then a nice long snooze. Oh, I love you so much. Over on Sky Cinema at the moment, as always, they've got loads of good films, but this has just excited me. I've just seen this on here. I'm a huge Jurassic World, Jurassic Park fan, and they've got the new one on here um, that came out last year and all of the other um, older ones as well. I, I feel like I need a Sunday on the sofa watching all of the Jurassic Park films. And this month on Sky, as it is February and coming up to Valentine's Day, they've got a Sky Valentine channel just for this month, and they've got lots of rom-com favourites on here like 13 going on 30 mamma mia 51st date they've got a roman holiday i've actually recently watched this it's a 1950 film with audrey hepburn and it's such like it's an old film but it's i really really loved it and i, I haven't watched many like really old films but i loved that i also saw on here as well the twilight saga some good rom-coms over february make sure to check out the sky valentine channel so as i was saying at the start of the video i've been recording all of the little bits and bobs that I have been doing around the house. I'm going to um, jump into all of that now. I am fresh faced and ready for a productive day at home today. It's Saturday morning, it's about 9am and I've got a big list of house jobs I want to get done today. I thought whilst we were in the bedroom I would show you some new bits in here. Um, first of all this rug. So this is from Zara Home and I ordered this um, this I got last year and um, we've had this for a while now but when it arrived I was adamant that it was the wrong colour. I'll put a photo on the screen here of what I thought I was ordering and this is what arrived. So the first time that this arrived I sent it back because um, I thought it they'd, they'd sent the wrong colour because I don't think it looks the same at all. And then when they resent it back out I got the same one. So I thought, okay, maybe this is just it. Also, you know how slow Zara returns and Zara customer service is just not the one. So that took a few months to get that sorted. When we bought it upstairs, I thought that this color actually worked really well with the carpet. So after all that faff, I thought, let's just keep it. So it's massive, actually. This is a super king size bed and it goes all the way around onto both sides. After all the hassle with the rug, I am happy with it. I don't think it was the colour that I originally wanted, but maybe the one I actually wanted just doesn't exist. <laughs> the colour does work really well in here. And then, got some new pillows. Um, I've had these ones for ages. These are from Ikea, but these big ones are new, and these are from H&M Home. A little tip, I'm sure you already know this, but um, inside here is a 65 by 65 insert, but the cushion itself is 60 by 60. So I do like to go a size smaller because I feel like you just get that more plump look with the cushion. I can't believe that I forgot to say this at the start of the vlog, but today is really exciting because we are getting a new sofa delivered. That's why it is so empty and echoey in here. We are getting a new sofa from Next and it's due to be delivered between 12.45 and 2.45. Um, I'm hoping they're gonna ring like a bit closer to the time just so I can like make sure 
everything is ready really excited and also that kind of like apprehension feeling because it's such a big item and or oh, just i've got the fabric sample here actually um it's such a big item and you just want to like make sure that it's right and you just don't know if it's like 100 percent right until it's in this is the fabric it's called it's their uh tweedy blend oyster it's a corner sofa and it's their new Houghton style, I think it's called. I'll obviously like show you when it arrives and leave the details linked below. Um, but my parents have always had neck sofas and they're always so comfortable and they really are like such good quality and really comfortable sofas. The lounge is really empty whilst we wait for the sofa delivery. I've got friends on and about to give a little DIY um, job a go. So I bought this from Amazon. It's called Rub and Buff. It's a metallic paint um, and it was just so pigmented and like it's a tiny tube but it says this covers like 20 square meter um, coverage and I have had a little practice on something else um, and what I did was I used an old tea towel and just like cut off a little segment um, and basically this mirror is on our like above our fireplace and when we've actually had this mirror for about three years like since we moved in um, but it was supposed to be like a brass frame and when it arrived as you can see, it just isn't. It's more of like a pewter silver. I think I was impatient and just wanted to put it up. But ever since then, it's really bugged me. Um, because we've got other little gold accents in here. Um, and I just, I've wanted to do this for ages. Um, so I've got two mirrors that I want to do the, the frame gold. Let's give this a go. I'm kind of nervous, but I think it's going to work. I'm just going to use a little bit. A little bit I found did really go a long way. So I've got a story with this mirror. I wanted a gold arched mirror to sit on top of the chest of drawers that we have upcycled, which you'll see later in the vlog. And I couldn't find the right size anywhere. And I found a near enough right size, but the mirror with the gold frame was like 120 pounds. And I just didn't want to pay 120 pounds for the mirror. Anyway, I remembered that I have this mirror from Dunelm, which I absolutely love, and it's the perfect size. So I went online, they still had it in stock, and it was in the sale. So it was 55 pounds down to 44 pounds, and that's the reason why I bought that gold paint that I showed you earlier. So, let's paint the frame. Who's that, Bertie? I'm going to put all of the painting bits away, have a thorough hoover before the sofa gets here, put the rug down and kind of just sort out before it arrives soon, hopefully. Oh my God, and they're actually here before the time. Ah! I need to do this quickly. here it is how comfortable does that look and like it's one of those sofas that you just want to jump into doesn't it like this is a proper sunday chilling napping sofa which i'm so happy about i really love this piping detail on the side i feel like that just makes it look super premium the fabric is so lovely i really am pleased with it the piping that's on the cushion is on the edge of the actual sofa as well i really love touches like that i feel like it just makes it like it just gives it that more premium look and um, so we've got the footstool as well and i was just like playing around i don't know i just don't know where to put it i actually think we might lose our coffee table and kind of have this like a footstool and coffee table because it's just going to be a bit cluttered in this area with both we used to have our little footstool buffet by the window but this is a lot bigger and it sticks out quite a lot um 
and also then it's not really a footstool and we do both like like normally this is my spot i can put my feet up but then if tom's here he likes to put his feet up as well so so i'm gonna do it i think as a makeshift coffee table for now good morning everyone it is monday morning and there's finally sun out it's blue sky and i just love when the sun is out even if it's freezing doesn't blue sky and sunshine just like i don't know just the light makes me happy anyway so i have still got quite a lot of home bits to show you that i didn't show you at the weekend um i've got some new in Dunelm pieces which I think I'm actually going to show you first um, and then I have had a bit of a reshuffle on my shelves. They just need a bit of a clean as well so I'll show you those as well. <laughs> one of my facebook marketplace finds um it was actually it was almost like a very stained white so i sanded it all back and um painted it like a different cream and then used different like waxes and brown paints just to like gently rub across it to make it look a bit more wooden um so happy with this i love facebook marketplace um for things i'll pop a picture in here of what it looked like before actually okay i'm going to show you the new in bits that i got from dunelm i got this really gorgeous lampshade and i just love the base of it it's like a very dark brown but as you can see like um it's got this kind of like vintagey worn effect which i really love um, and it's got a really nice just like cream canvas shade on the top and i thought it looked so nice here the only problem is this is complete insta versus reality is i don't have a plug socket here but i just think it looks really nice there um i have had a look on amazon and you can get um bulbs that are there's not a bulb in here but you can get bulbs that are like chargeable and that would be perfect because then i can just use like a, like a battery powered um bulb sorry is what i'm trying to say i know you might ask where this console table is from and we actually made it um tom and i went to or in st albans there is a reclaimed wood center and they have loads of amazing pieces of wood like all different types these were old scaffolding boards and you can buy them either pre-sanded or you can sand them yourself they're more expensive to buy them pre-sanded like this but it just saved us so much time so we bought them and tom put it together like a little console table all of the dunelm pieces that i'm going to show you are kind of all spread around the house um so i'm just gonna take you around the house a little bit um so next up is an olive tree i love having greenery around the house and i've had real plants in the house before um but they die they can be messy and yeah i just i think a faux one is good but sometimes well a lot of the time i hate the look of the faux plants i just think they look so naff and they can look so plasticky i'm really impressed with this olive tree i love it um so it actually comes on it's like just got a little pot um i actually need to do this properly i've just put it on a box inside of this big basket uh, but really i could actually put it on an even bigger one kind of bring that up here but i just need to um fill this out and get some fake moss or something to put on top so i haven't quite finished that but from a distance i think that looks really nice so i love that there and then moving into the dining room on the sideboard that we've got here this is also done on the sideboard and those big candlesticks are actually done as well it comes on this really nice wooden frame as well and i love it i feel like the colors in this work really well in this room because there's a lot of kind of this like greeny greeny earthy tones in here with lots of wood um and i just love it I just think it adds so much like a really nice like pop of interest on top of the sideboard and I love the feel of like bringing the outdoors in. I've also got this really nice hurricane vase. I'm just gonna take it out of the packaging. How lovely is that? In Dunelm they've got this range 
this is part of it and i think that it's called it's on here actually i'm pretty sure it's called churchill yeah oh church gate if you go onto dunelm and type in church gate i find that like they, that is a really nice collection that they've got of these like really lovely woodeny uh pieces um yeah, I think everything that I've shown you today is from the church gate, apart from the lamp, I think. The glass is, I don't know how to describe that, but it's almost, oh my god, really close. It's almost like hammered glass. I really love that. So, yeah, I couldn't resist this. So I just need to find a new home for this now. So moving on to my next project. I have been wanting to upcycle a chest of drawers um, and I've been looking on Facebook Marketplace all the time because I needed quite specific dimensions. I wanted that bevel on the drawer and I wanted the straight panel at the bottom. I didn't want that to have any details and I finally found it. So this cost me £45 and I had a really strong vision of what I wanted to do with it. So we started off by... I say we, Tom kindly helped me do this, sanding it all down, which took ages, but it's so worth it and makes the biggest difference. We filled in the holes um, of where the original knobs were, and then we mixed a solution of like 50% water, 50% white emulsion paint, painted it on, and then rubbed it off with a tea towel, and it just gave this really nice um, white stain. And then here are the finished drawers. What a transformation they have had. I love a good before and after and I feel like this is so good and I had such a strong vision for these drawers. I'm so, so pleased with how they came out and I'm also going to show you the mirror up close as well. So this is the one I painted with, um, with that gold paint and I'm so pleased with how it came out and it all just has worked so well and I feel like this is just a little reminder that, can you see me? Is it really dark? You don't need to spend loads of money on interiors. Um, Facebook Marketplace is so good for finding things to upcycle. If you can't quite find like what you're after, for example, with this mirror, you know, you can paint things and change things up. So get creative is, is what I'm gonna say. You would have seen in the video, we filled the holes where the knobs were um, and then popped these handles on as well. And I, I just got those from Amazon. I'm um, really happy with those. So, so pleased with them. And I can't remember if I said earlier, but these drawers, they cost me £45. I actually feel like I've run out of time on this vlog. I've got so many more things to show and share with you. This vlog is already really long. Um, so the things I didn't get to share with you that I'll put in the next week's vlog is kitchen updates. Last year I ordered a new dining table, I think it was like back in November, but they're made to order, so they've had like a 10 to 12 week lead time, so that should be arriving this month, so hopefully I can include that. I also want to show you like the sofa styling, I'm just waiting on some new cushions to arrive, and also I want to have a play around with using that footstool um, that I showed you as our coffee table, so I'll show you like the styling of that um, and how I'm going to make that work in next week's vlog as well, and there's a few other bits and bobs, um, but yeah, I just think it'll be easier to split it into two because this is already quite long. So if you have reached the end of this vlog, I know this has been a long one with lots going on, then thank you so so much everything that you've seen in this video today will be linked down below and thank you so much again for watching and i'll see you next week bye